So Just For You is a comedy film that tells the story of Nate Sullivan and how he tries to f figure out a way around this very embarrassing situation that he feels he needs to rectify before he can take the next step with his girlfriend Leah. So he has a conversation with his good friend Brooke to see if she can give him some advice which causes all sorts of awkward and complicated <laughs> problems uh, for them both. Yeah, um, it was just really like light-hearted. Um, so there was a lot of like obviously comedy in it, and um, the like twists throughout it. Because obviously Brooke doesn't realise until near enough halfway through, really what Nate's getting at. Um, so it's that kind of like moment of oh. Right, okay, this is what you mean. And that's when it takes, like, a funny turn. Um, but it's also just really lifelike. I think we've all been in situations where you're with a friend and then it's like, oh, could this be more? What is this? Um, so it's just, you can, like, relate to it as well. Who wants rest? to go first? <laughs> John, do you, uh, okay. Uh, so uh, Nate's a character that's um, very kind, caring, lovable. Um, he hasn't got a lot of experience when it comes to going out and partying uh, and going out with his friends, etc. Because he's so focused on his studies and his career. But um, he's got a big heart. Um, and that's one of the main reasons I like about him, really. Um, yeah, Brooke is... She's really outgoing and like witty and really confident um, and you kind of see that at the initial when she's like absolutely besotted by this guy that she's been talking to. Um, yeah, but then you can also see that she does care a lot and she obviously cares a lot for Nate and they're really good friends, um, which is why it's such an interesting story. So Lana and Kyle are two supporting characters within this film. They are the two characters that uh, Nate and Brooke go to when they have their uh, problem and issues. Uh, these two characters are played by two amazing actors, uh, Harvey Quinn and Nicole Catherine Rydell. Um, Harvey was really, really good to work with. He had a, a clear image on how he wanted Kyle to be delivered. Um, so uh, the casting directors and of course myself were really lucky to get hold of him on such a short notice. Uh, I didn't actually work with Nicole but uh, Katie worked with Nicole, how was she? Yeah Nicole was great, um, it was also just really nice working with someone Scottish. Um, I just feel like when you put two Scottish people together it just is banner straight away just because we get each other. Um, so that was really nice and she was great to work against and just a lovely, lovely other actress to work with. I got a phone call being like, can you do this tomorrow? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, I'd had such a bad audition actually the day of, um, which we all do as actors. And um, I was feeling so low and then James asked me to do it and I was like, yay, it's like it's just something creative. Um, so yeah, so it was a really good, a nice phone call to have. Nate's in the kitchen and Brooke comes into the room and the awkwardness between Nate and Brooke um, I, I really enjoyed playing that because um, there's tension between the two characters and I remember when we were filming it we had to do it a couple of times so we need to get the angles and the shots just right so that's um, that was one of my mm. favourite scenes he was really good at like um, sitting down before the scene and being like, right, okay, let's run through this, let's see where you're going um, as, with your characters and how you interact and stuff. Um, and he was really good at giving direction throughout as well and being like, no, do that again. That was rubbish. <laughs> do it again. Yeah. Yeah, Tom, Tom was, Con was brilliant. Um, he hasn't worked with us before. Um, and uh, one of our previous directors, Richard, recommended him because he's done quite a lot of uh, comedy films uh, in the past. So he thought that he was the best uh, director for this particular project and he, he did a brilliant job. So um, I think uh, 
one of the reasons you should watch Just For You is because it's a film that I think young teenagers uh, will really relate to, especially young teenage men. Um, it's uh, very entertaining. It's about family. It's about friends. Um, and I think when the viewers watch Just For You, they, they will be entertained. I'm with you on that one. It's good for a younger audience, um, especially just because I know that lots of girls have been in that position of going on lots of dates and being like, <laughs> I love this person and really you've been on one date with them. Um, so it's just nice to, and like friendship, I think that's such a big yeah. one and how friendship can grow into either something else or the way it is. It's really nice yeah. to see. Just for you, we'll be out this fall. And we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.